I want to talk today about uh, radial filters and about filtering your water from your fish tank to your pebble bed. There's a lot of discussion about this and whether or not it's necessary. And what we found in our experience is that if you have a very small number of fish, then you probably don't need any type of uh, filtration at all. But if you do want to maximize the growth, say, on your fish tank, and it's more uh, than really you have filtration for, and then also, too, just over time, if you have a lot of fish, that, that waste is going to build up. What happens to that waste? Well, your worms in your bed and your bacteria should convert that over, but over a long period of time, if you're overdriving those beds, then you could wind up with a thick sludge in the bottom of your bed. It could become anaerobic, and then you would have to clean your bed. And that's the only time that you would have to do that. So if you want to avoid that uh, po you know, possible problem later on, then what you can do is put what's called a radial filter in. And this is something fairly new that we've added to our systems. So what we have is a uh, filter here that basically as the water is overflowing, from our fish tank to our sump, we're taking those solids and we force the water to change directions. So basically, if you can kind of see in here, the water is coming up the center pipe. It's coming up right there. It's coming inside of this pipe, which forces the water to change directions, go down, and then turn again to go out the overflow. So we're forcing the water to come up down and out and it traps a lot of the solids down in the bottom so you can kind of see well I don't know if the lights good enough to see down inside of there but there's a lot of uh, solid matter that's that's trapped so then what we can do or what we've done kind of to make it easy is we have a hose connected to the bottom of our radial filter and uh, what we can do is just create a siphon with this so we let this fill up we cap the end like this, and we go right into a bucket with it, and we can just siphon that water off into another bucket or onto the ground or hook to a water hose and take all that solid matter out of our system. As long as the solids are in the system, even though they're trapped in the radial filter, it's still going to be um, adding ammonia to our, to, you know, to our whole system. So we want to get those solids out probably on a weekly basis. Um, depending on how many fish you have and how much solid matter that you're trapping. So thanks for watching and check us out on EndlessFoodSystems.com.